Waiting in line isn't the ideal scenario for anyone. When we got here, the line was literally through 90% of the parking lot. But when it comes to deciding who's going to be the next president of the United States, these voters say it's worth it. Your voice needs to be heard and you vote and it's worth standing in line. These are troubling times, so you know, a lot of concerns, but this is very important. It's a very important election. Early voters at St. Luke's United Methodist chose to wait, no matter the wait time. I knew we would have to wait maybe three or four hours, but I didn't think we would be here all day. No one wants to be here for eight hours. I would just encourage voters to be patient and to um, know that it's possible that they could be waiting in line just because we also have to implement social distancing. Standing in line for eight hours sounds bad. But unlike the political ads, there was no divisiveness here. Pizza, pizza. The camaraderie out here, this is awesome. Just like the people around me, just talking to them. It was just an experience I didn't think I'd have today. We did a wave. I mean, somebody had a birthday out here. The Wellholters celebrated their fourth anniversary by standing in line. Don't know if I'd rather spend my anniversary anywhere else. <laughs> These voters say if they can wait eight hours to let their voices be heard, so can you. This is really doing my heart good to see this many Americans, you know, standing up for what we do. You know, this is our freedom right here. Go vote! Reporting for Fox 59 News, I'm Aaron Kentrell. Eight hours while wow, doing what it takes to get it done. Well, Vote Safe Indiana and Lesson Lee have created a wait time tracker for all voting early voting sites in Marion County. Now, volunteers at the sites track the time it takes for voters to cast their ballots. Now, you can find it at IndyVoteTimes.org. Now, there are six early voting sites in Marion County. They will be open from 9 until 5 on the weekends and times vary during the week.